Hi, this is Primo with you again, and um, today we're going to discuss something that is very upsetting to me, that somebody would think that this is kind of the acceptable way of going. Uh, the original discussion was is that, and a couple of you have actually commented with me, saying that the, they believe that the last update that we'll ever see from GTA is going to be the casino. Originally, I had kind of said that the bike is going to be the last one, and the way they've kind of petitioned it kind of felt like it was the last one. But I said, you know what, that's a really good point. We've never done anything with the casino before. I mean, is this really the kind of moment where, what? well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the casino is the big, the big final hit, and we're going to see one more big update, which would be really good. I, I love the idea. Um, but suddenly, a couple of people put up videos that said, uh, obviously, they heard from their fanboy whatever in the internet sphere that said that oh rockstar can't do it because they have microtransactions and microtransactions equal money so if you gamble in the casino that uh you can't gamble any kind of like in-game money because in-game money actually equates to a value of real life money and i to Excuse the French with this, but bullshit. I, I'm really going to call out on this and just say, it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. The idea that Rockstar is limited to what they can do with a casino because of some magical one thing that says that they can't gamble in it, I, I just think it's junk. There's so much opportunity to be had with a casino that getting rid of it and saying, oh, well, we can't just have it now. Well, because this one money thing, we're just not ever going to open the casino. Is uh, My opinion is cheating everybody that's a player. It's just looking at us and going, you know what? You were a cash card cow for us while we were doing GTA. And that's all that you mattered to us. It's I, I just think kind of it's insulting. We had our final heist in single player. That was the big job that culminated in everything we'd done in the online, I mean, excuse me, that everything that we had done in the single player mode culminated obviously to that one moment where we had that big grand heist and we earned 200 million on it, you know, some gigantic number. And that's kind of what, if we're going to do online right, then we need to have that one magical moment at the end that says, okay, GTA is not going to support this game anymore. There's not going to be any more updates. We're going to leave you out there. You know what? They don't expect to make any more money from cash cards or they're going to take cash cards away. Then give us that one big heist as the last update that says, here you go. You're going to make $200 million on this heist. You're never going to have to worry about money again in online. You know, here, here you go. This is how to run it. It's doesn't have to be an easy heist. It doesn't have to be the kind of heist that we've become accustomed to. The the one where we kind of just hack our way through it. Something that we can actually have fun with that can end the series in an upbeat note that can say, Hey, by the way, guys, thanks for doing everything you did. We're not gonna screw you on the way out. Here's your here's your prize for playing as long as you have. And that would be a great way to end it. Uh, in fact, you know what? I'm, I'm not even going to say it like that. I'm going to challenge Rockstar to say, you guys know when this is going to end. I know we don't. That's okay. But th you have some executives out there who I'm hoping give a crap about the players that play their game and can look at you and go, this is how much time you have left. And in that time, I want you to make the most epic heist for multiplayer ever. Maybe it's not just four players, maybe it's six players. Ever how you want to do that. I, I can imagine a six to eight player heist that is split like 200 million split six ways. And the idea that you can't even determine the percentage between them, that is just, this is how it's going to get split and deal with it. You know what I mean? But I would challenge Rockstar to have that opportunity to put that together, 
put some additional vehicles in there that are associated with it that are good fun things to add to the game that will you know stuff that will unbreak the classes in racing if you will maybe some things that we can actually use in the heist or allow us to use the tank allow us to use buzzards allow us to use some of this stuff that we spent 1.7 million dollars on that it, the the only thing it's good for is uh flying around in the middle of free roam rooms and ruining everybody's existence so so that's my challenge is I, i'm going to say all you guys out there that don't think the casino is going to come to play I, i'm i'm going to make rocks i want rockstar to prove you wrong i want them to prove to you that this is not about making money by going to casino so you can spend your money and get more cash cards out of it i want them to prove that no the casino was never about the money the casino was something that was cool and fun and we're going to finally get it and everybody's going to be happy and i would like to see something like a vanilla unicorn base instead of just having the bases that we have at our big apartments something like the ceo bases that can feed the heist i i there's a reason to spend money and if somebody told me that hey here's a 200 million dollar heist and you have to have 10 million or 20 million to buy an apartment or buy a business that is going to lead up into that heist i that's a reason for me to spend that money and spend for the upkeep on it so that's that's my drive so here's my thing that i'm throwing out there there's a lot of other things that are in my mind when it comes to being able to do the casino you can play games without gambling money you can just play card games or play whatever and a multiplayer card games would be great having slot machines that don't do money that just roll around and do whatever is fine just don't you know horse racing i thought the coolest idea was to be able to invest in some sort of horse and have your horse run around and have i guess if you will npcs betting or gambling on your game and on your horse and you say hey this is how my horse has odds or other people race their horses against each other how you want to do that is fine if it's even some kind of racing situation where we race something on that track out there put that thing to use so that we can do something with it i so maybe i'm crazy maybe i'm maybe i'm wrong whatever but like i said i i I would challenge rockstar to do that um i want to hear from you guys you get the comments below let me know what you think about that idea what let me know what you think about the casino and give me your input on it and uh and i'm looking forward to seeing you guys next time you guys have a great day we'll talk to you soon bye